Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Subnautica Abandoned Ship. I'll be teaching you how to play the main theme that repeats throughout the song. It goes like this, here we go, give you a preview. To it, melody and block chords that we're gonna learn because that's the foundation of a song. From that, you can add all this extra stuff afterwards based on those melody and chords. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and break it up into two parts. Uh, no, no, sorry, four parts so it's easier to learn. Okay, so first part goes like this right hand starts on the D here, middle C here for reference. We go up an octave to this C, is the D right here. So, it goes D, D, E, F, D, D, F. A. Those are the eight notes for the first part for the right hand, pretty simple. One more time, so it goes D, D, E, F, D, D, F, A. And that's it for the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, we have two chords here. Both the two chords are D minor, which is D, F, A. It's a fully white note chord, played twice. So two of these D minor chords are the first two chords, okay? So yeah, with those two chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, pretty simple. It's like one note for every four notes. So it goes together, together, like that, easy. That's the first part. One more time, it goes together, two, three, four, together, two, three, four. And that's it for the first part. Moving on, after the first part goes to the second part, right hand continues, goes D, D, E down to C for four times, two, three, four. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Let's do it again. So it goes D, D, E, F, down to C, two, three, four. That's it for the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, we have two chords. The two chords are D minor, which is D, F, A, and the second chord is C major, which is C, E, G. So with these two chords in mind, so D minor followed by C major, the two hands together goes like this, so D and D minor together. C and C major together. Like that, there you have it, okay? One more time, it goes together. Together, two, three, four. And that's it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be playing like this, check it out. Okay, now, moving on. The third part, something awesome happens because the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part. So you don't have to learn anything, you just play the first part again. That's the third part. Now, moving on to the fourth and last part. The fourth and last part changes a little bit, okay? Compared to the second part, there are some similarities, okay? So the first four notes are the same, D, D, F, uh, E, F, and then now changes. Instead of going down to C, it goes up to A, G, F, E, and that's it for the fourth part. All the times goes D, D, E, F, up to A, G, F, E. That's it for the right hand for this fourth part, okay? So D, D, E, F, A, G, F, E. Those are the notes. Left hand, we have the same two chords as the second part. So those two chords are D minor, which is D, F, A, and second chord C major, which is C, E, G. So with those two chords in mind, so D minor followed by C major, the two hands together goes like this, D and D minor together, A and C major together, like that. Okay, one more time, so together, together, that's it for the fourth part, so back to back, all four parts will be played like this, check it out. Okay, there you have it. 
have it. So once you got all the melody and chords of this correct, then you can start to add other improvisations and decoration patterns to make it more awesome. Left hand you can do like octave and arpeggio patterns and rhythmic patterns, and then right hand you can harmonize it based on those chords too, which is like just two chords, D minor and C major, right? So nothing difficult. Okay, so you can do something like this. Check it out. You can be like. So obviously you get the melody and chords right first. If you don't get that, then you can't really do much because it'll be a lot difficult to kind of improvise with stuff that you're not familiar with. Okay, but anyways, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. But anyway, also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. So make sure to check that out. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. Tell me in the comments what you want me to cover or teach next, or use my services to guarantee a priority custom song request. For more information on all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music and books, check out the links in the description or visit my website bestpianomethod.com.